In this video, we shall find equation of a straight line in three-dimensional space passing through a given point A and parallel to a given vector V. Graphically, two things are given. A vector V as we can see in this figure and a point A whose coordinates are x0, y0 and z0. We shall pass a straight line from this point A parallel to the vector V and then we need to find equation of that straight line. On this straight line we take an arbitrary point B and then find a vector passing through point A and B. By definition, the vector AB is equal to x minus x0, comma y minus y0, comma z minus z0. We can see that vector AB is parallel to vector V. So we write AB parallel to V. Now, when two vectors are parallel, one will be equal to the scalar product of the other. So by vector algebra, we write AB is equal to TV, where T is a scalar number. Substituting the value of AB and the value of V, then multiplying T with A, then with B and then with C. Next, comparing the first quadrant with the first one, we write X minus X naught is equal to AT. Second, with the second one, we write Y minus Y naught is equal to BT and third with third one, we write z minus z naught is equal to ct. Now solving these three equations for the variables. So from the first one we shift x naught to right hand side and we get x is equal to x naught plus at. From the second one we shift y naught to the right hand side and we get y is equal to y naught plus bt. From the third, we shift Z0 to the right hand side and we get Z is equal to Z0 plus CT. And this is called parametric form for equation of a straight line in three dimensional space. Now there is another form which is called symmetric form for equation of straight line in 3D. Again, we take these three equations and solve it for t. From the first equation, we divide both sides by a and we get x minus x naught divided by a is equal to t. From the second one, we divide both sides by b and we get y minus y naught divided by b is equal to t. The third equation, we divide both sides by C and get Z minus Z naught divided by C is equal to T. Right hand sides are equal, so left hand side are also equal. And from these three, we write X minus X naught divided by A is equal to Y minus Y naught divided by B which is equal to z minus z naught divided by c and this is called symmetric form for equation of state line in 3D. After getting the parametric form and the symmetric form, we can easily obtain the vector form for equation of state line in 3D. By writing the left hand side is a triple x comma y comma z equal to the value of x comma the value of y comma the value of z. Now this left hand side is sometimes denoted by r of t which is position vector of x comma y comma z 
and we write it as r of t is equal to first value into unit vector i plus second value into unit vector j plus third value into unit vector k and this is called the vector form for equation of straight line in three dimensional space. In this example, we find the parametric form, the vector form, and the symmetric form for equation of a straight line passing through a given point A and parallel to a vector V. Here, the point A is given, so the value of x0 is 3, y0 is minus 5, z0 is minus 2. A direction vector is given, so the value of a is minus 2, b is 3, and c is equal to minus 4. The parametric equation of straight line are given here. We substitute the value of x0, which is 3, and the value of a, which is minus 2, and get x is equal to Min 3 minus 2t. Then we substitute the value of y0, which is minus 5, the value of b, which is 3, and get y is equal to minus 5 plus 3t. Then we substitute the value of z0, which is minus 2, and the value of c, which is minus 4, and get z is equal to minus 2 minus 4t. Formula for the vector form of equation of a straight line is given by this equation. In this equation we substitute the value of x0 a y0 b z0 c and we get the required vector form for the equation of straight line. Finally, we know that the formula for the symmetric form for equation of straight line is given here. In this formula, we substitute the value of x0, a, y0, b, z0, c, and we get the required symmetric form for equation of straight line in 3D. In example number 2, we are given two points A and B from which the straight line is passing and we need to find the parametric, the vector and the symmetric equations of straight line. From the first point A, we get the value of x0, which is 4, y0 is 7, z0 is minus 6. When two points A and B are given, then the direction vector V is equal to the vector AB, which is equal to the position vector of B minus the position vector of A, which are given. Simplifying, we get that v is equal to 3, 2, 9. Now, we are given a point and the position, the direction vector. So, in a similar way, like in the previous example, we substitute values in these three equations and get the parametric equations of straight line in 3D. To find the vector equation, we substitute the value of x0, a, y0, b, z0, c and get the required vector equation of straight line in 3D. To find the symmetric equation, we substitute the value of x0 which is 4 and the value of a which is 3. Then the value of y0 which is 7, the value of b which is 2, the value of z0 which is minus 6 and the value of c which is 9. 
and get the required symmetric equation of straight line in three dimensional space. That's all.